Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and happy Croctober. I am super excited to do this. Last year I was very new to YouTube and I did not do any Croctober videos, but I decided that this year I was going to definitely get it on the fun. I love slow cooker meals. I think that they are warm and comforting and delicious and sometimes they're super easy because let's face it, we are all busy. So I picked a bunch of recipes that I have never tried before, and I will be sharing all of those recipes with you guys this month. So right behind me over my shoulder right there, that is my Ninja Foodie. I do not own a crock pot. I used two years ago. Um, I, I had a really nice big crock pot and I loved it, but when I saw this guy, when it first came out, I saw an infomercial for it and I told my husband, I was like, I've got to have one of those. It is so awesome. I like things that, you know, you buy an appliance and it does a whole bunch of stuff. So I don't have to have like six or seven different appliances and this guy fit the bill. It will slow cook, it will dehydrate, it will pressure cook, it will air fry, it will sear and saute. So I really, really, really enjoy my Ninja Foodie and it is always linked down below in the description box in case any of y'all are interested in purchasing one. I absolutely love it and it is my favorite uh, kitchen appliance, not sponsored, just sharing my love for the Ninja Foodie. Anyway, I am kicking Croctober off with some lemon, chicken, and potatoes. I made this recipe the other day and my house smelled incredible. You could smell the lemon and the roasting chicken, a little hint of garlic, it was fantastic. There's so much flavor in this and if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you know we eat a lot of rice, so of course I served this over rice, but you don't have to, you can serve it any way you choose to. I did prep it for lunches for the, the week for my husband, so at the end, you will see I did put it in a food prep for container for him. It does reheat very, very well, and it holds well in the fridge, so if you're interested in doing that, uh, this worked out perfectly. Otherwise, it makes a great dinner too, and like I said, it just smells absolutely incredible, and I don't see why you couldn't throw in like some carrots and stuff as well, or maybe just serve it with some roasted broccoli on the side with some of that lemon juice over the top. It'd be just perfect. Anyway, enough chatting. Let's check out the recipe. This recipe is so simple and so delicious. I am so glad I made it though because it's packed full of flavor. So I've got six chicken thighs. The recipe says bone in, skin on, and that is what I have. And then it lists some ingredients to season your chicken with. However, I have this seasoning blend I showed you. It's a Mediterranean herb. I picked it up at Sam's Club. It's pretty, it's got spices that um, they list in the in, in the recipe and then it's got some other stuff and I'm really enjoying the flavor of this so I just went ahead and used this um, it's it's kind of similar to the Kinder's Italian um, seasoning blend that I showed you guys a couple of weeks ago but it's more of a rotisserie flavor and less of like a lemony zing and we're already putting lemon in here so I thought this was perfect so once you season the chicken thighs head on over to your stovetop and place them in a preheated skillet with a little bit of oil we're just trying to develop a bit of color and flavor on the outside of these chicken thighs you know when you cook things in a slow cooker they don't really get a good chance to brown very often this is the only moment we have to kind of do anything with the skin and crisp it up a little bit and add that extra layer of flavor so we're going to take advantage of it we're not cooking them all the way through we're not even really par cooking them we're just looking for some color to develop on the outside this only takes a couple of minutes and you just flip them over once you get some nice color on that bottom side and try to get a little color on the other side and as you can see once i flip these over i got a nice golden color on there a good layer of seasoning really does help to develop color on chicken when you cook it in a skillet so if nothing else make sure you at least have some salt and pepper on there because it will help get you that beautiful caramelized color and the crust and everything but if you do use a seasoning blender something that totally does help but i'm just going to flip these over and let them cook on the other side for about four or five minutes once I flipped the chicken over, I headed over to my cutting board where I had a couple of small russet potatoes. I washed them and then I went to town peeling them. Um, here is my tip for peeling potatoes. I saw somebody else do this and I thought, why didn't I think of that? It's genius. So I just take an empty Walmart bag or whatever store you shop at and I just kind of open it up and place it on my counter or my cutting board or whatever I'm working with. And then I peel the potatoes straight into that bag. Most of the pot potato peels go in there and I'm able to easily just pick it up and throw it away so cleanup is a breeze. 
Next, I got to work chopping up the potatoes. I'm leaving mine in larger chunks just because I know they're going to break down as they cook all day and that way they won't break down into nothingness. I will still have some decent sized bites of potato at the end of the day. This actually worked out really well so don't be afraid to do that because once I pulled them out they're really not that big and also they're so soft and tender you could just slice them right up if they are too big for you. So I cannot recommend doing this enough just because it keeps you from having mush at the end of the day. And we're not looking for mashed potatoes, we're looking for some like cooked roasted potatoes. Next we're going to work on zesting our lemon and as you can see I do not have a microplane. I used to but I don't. I don't know why I don't. I don't know where it went. But here's my tip for zesting a lemon if you don't have a microplane. I'm using my zester and I'm being oh so careful to try to just get the yellow part from the lemon. Try to avoid as much of the white as you can. You're always going to get a tiny bit because this is, you know, it's not as accurate but this works out beautifully in a pinch. You just go to town chopping it up like that until you have it in a very, very, very fine mince. I will definitely say a microplane and things like that are so much easier and I have since replaced mine, but if you don't have one or you don't zest lemons very often, just use this method. You don't have to go out and spend like 15 bucks or something on a microplane. This works fine. It just takes a little bit of time out of your day, but no big deal. You know what? My lemon flavor was great. It wasn't bitter. It wasn't awful. Everything was fantastic. I then juiced that lemon that I just zested. As you can see, I did leave some of that zest on there because I got to tell you, like I'm just peeling these little bits off and after a while I was like, okay, we're good. <laughs> but I did juice it very, very well. Got as much juice out as I could. And I decided to make this kind of like a saucy dressing just because I felt like there was so little of it, it wasn't going to coat my potatoes. So I added about a tablespoon or so of olive oil and then I tossed in a minced clove of garlic. Stirred it really, really well and then got ready to put everything in. So I started with my onion and potato and I put them in the slow cooker and then I added the seasoning that I used for the chicken earlier. I, I think I forgot to mention that I diced up an onion. I forgot to film it and I don't know why. I don't know what happened. I thought I did film it. Anyway, I diced up an onion. There it is. But uh, once I seasoned it really well with the same seasoning to kind of bring the whole dish together and make the chicken co cohesive with the potatoes and things like that, I realized that I had not put any pepper in this dish and there's no pepper in my seasoning mix. So I'm going to add a whole bunch of pepper right now because you know how much we love our cracked black pepper. And then I'm going to pour this little like saucy dressing mix that I made over the top of everything. Mix it really, really well so all the flavors combine. Everybody's nicely coated in that sauce and the seasoning and whatnot. And then we're going to add in some chopped up butter. It's just like two tablespoons of butter. I just chomped it up. Mine was frozen, so it had like kind of crumbled and broke apart, which was perfect. And I just tossed it right on in. And the recipe didn't call for that. I just felt like in my heart this needed to happen. I don't know why, but you don't have to if you don't want to. But I always feel like butter helps everything. So there you go. And then I added my chicken into the slow cooker and poured all the stuff from the the skillet that we cooked it in, the juices and all of that in there because it's just added flavor and we don't want to waste it. Next, I got ready to pack lunches. So it's been a couple of hours. Obviously that is cooked. I made some rice on the stove top. I put my little wooden things down to protect my counter from the hot uh, plastic bowls there because that rice was piping hot. And then I added a big scoop of rice in every bowl, took the chicken out of the slow cooker so I could get to the vegetables at the bottom. And I put those on top of the rice with lots of juice to flavor everything. And then I put my chicken in there and boom, I was done. This was so, so good. It was packed full of flavor, you guys. It was so delicious. And it had a nice hearty fall feel to it as well. This was definitely a winner and I'm glad I tried it. And I'm sure I'll be making it again because you guys know I love lemon flavored things. I might kind of play with the seasonings a little bit, maybe do something a little different. And I would love to add some roasted broccoli in there too. Not in the slow cooker, just like cook it on the side and add it in at the end of the day. I think that would be great. Carrots might be good too. I don't know. I want to play with this recipe. Anyway, I hope y'all liked it. Happy Croptober. Thank you so much for tuning in and being here and supporting my channel. I do have more Croptober videos coming your way. So I will see you guys really soon with more stuff. Have a great one guys. Bye.